First of all, um, you've got the squad news from uh, through already in terms of the injuries, but in terms of your selection, how much of a balance do you have to make between the importance of this fixture against West Ham and looking ahead to Tuesday against Bayern? Yes, I think it's a, still a little bit unlucky. We cannot recover players for for the game tomorrow. Um, and then we need to assess still some player. Uh, this afternoon, we'll see if some player can be available or not. Um, we came from a very busy period of schedule and, and of course, it's a lot of fatigue on the team. Uh, but I think... Uh, Again, um, all our decision is going to be focused in trying to win the game tomorrow because it's the most important game. Uh, we cannot think in Tuesday. All the decision that we are going to take for tomorrow game is because uh, we need to provide the team uh, good energy, um, the capacity to to fight from the first uh, moment, um, uh, and we need player. No 100, if not 200 percent focus in, in tomorrow, because for me it's the most important game. Without tomorrow, it's not Tuesday. I think uh, that is why it's so important after a very busy period to assess the player. Of course, that we are a little bit no worry, but of course, uh, pay attention a little bit more because uh, it's so important to to provide the team the, the best uh, tools and fresh legs and fresh mind to try to, to be close to, to win because. Uh, now, uh, the most important game is, is West Ham. You're saying the focus is all, all West Ham. Have you had to remind the players because the Champions League semi final is an absolutely huge match for them and for the club, for the history of the club? Has it been easy to make sure that their minds are focused on, on playing West Ham? No, it's, it's conscious. I think it's easier to, to think and say, yes, West Ham is, is important. And then it's. Start to sing after West Ham. Start to sing in in Ajax. But in your inconscient, uh, it's not easy to manage to handle that situation. That is why I think uh, we must to be as, uh, tough and strong in our in our idea to translate to to the player that uh, the most important is 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 tomorrow. Is for me, if you say to me. Uh, which game is more is most is more important? Tomorrow is more important than Tuesday, because tomorrow is going to be for me key or decisive. The possibility to be on the top four, and we want to be on the top four, and we want to be on the next Champion League. And of course, after Tuesday is going to be important when I arrive Tuesday. But uh, we must uh, we must to be uh, um, I think concentrate in the game of tomorrow because it's a derby because when you play a derby it's more than a game for our fans and because it's a massive thing playing for the next season uh, to be in the top four is, is a is a massive achievement on the end if we are capable to to get um, because uh, it's so important to Tuesday that is why I think the concentration and the focus must to be 200 percent tomorrow if we want to arrive in good condition after Tuesday to be competitive again in, in the semi-final of Champions League. Your players, of course, have this huge match against West Ham to think about ahead of Tuesday. Ajax, in the meantime, have been given the weekend off. The Dutch authorities have postponed their fixture. Would you like, as Danny Rose has said, the Premier League to have done something similar for you? Uh, I know it is difficult, no? Uh, <clears throat> I understand that in these type of situations, um, everyone can have uh, uh, the opinion. Uh, I know very well that the Premier League and the FA Cup try to help us uh, to have the um, the help to prepare the semi-final. Um, but it's, it's true that the Premier League is completely different to the Dutch uh, league or, um, or football in Europe is completely different uh, than England. I think. Um, Yes, the fact or the reality is that uh, they are going to have uh, more uh, time to prepare and avoid risk because you, when you play uh, Saturday and then you must to play Tuesday, uh, when you compete and you compete in a derby uh, game and playing for big things, of course, always the, the concentration and the effort is, is massive. Always you can 
take um, some problems. You have to have some problems. But it's not a complaint. It's not a complaint. Only the fact is that uh, I think it's not fair. Like it's, it's, we're in the, it will be in the opposite. Eh? If we have one week to prepare the semi-final and Ajax is playing Saturday, I, in my mind, is going to be the same, thinking the same. That is not fair for for them, you know. It's not. I, I don't want to create a debate or I don't want to create a polemic. It's only the fact is playing a semi-final, a Champions League semi-final. I think both teams must have the same time to prepare, you know, the the game. But you know, I, we need to accept. It's not a thing that uh, to complain. Um, we are in England. England is different. We are in the best and the tougher competition on the, the world because I think to, to play here in, in, in England in the Premier League and with the two competition plus uh, Europe is the most tougher uh, competition on the world. And, and But you need to accept that and, and not complain and be sure that uh, with our decision we can help the, the player and the team to arrive and be competitive in, in all the games. A priori, always is better to have time to be focused today in in in, in choose the game against Tottenham because you are not preparing the game uh, in in your league. Like for us, is we are thinking after Manchester City in try to beat uh, West Ham. We are not think, thinking in in Ajax. It's it's completely different. We must to start to think in in Ajax. Uh, after tomorrow, after the game tomorrow. Uh, that is an advantage. Sometimes, yes. So, uh, can be a disadvantage because you have too much time to prepare. S sometimes, yes. Uh, you know, <laughs> I will tell after, after the game. What is sure that the reality or the fact is that we or they are going to avoid risk. That we are going to take risk, risk because when you compete three days before the game, and you must to win a game that you must to win if you want to be on the top four next season. And you are fighting for big things. And it, on the end, it's an emotional game because it's a it's against West Ham. Of course, always uh, the effort is is massive. Um, but that is why we are exciting. We are so motivated. It's a massive challenge for us. Um, you know, um, that is the reality. We describe the reality, but we are going to be competitive, and we are not going to complain. Happen what happen on the end of the game. Just finally. From Yes, always in my, in my mind was the best things you know that can happen. I I told you if you can go back and 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 listen what I I told you because in my mind always I am open uh, to invite the the positive things and I am so positive. Um, Always we show with with Daniel because Daniel said to me in every single meeting, say, "Oh, uh, Gaffa, you are so positive." I, 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 and he's in the opposite. Sometimes it's too much negative, no? Um, yeah, yes, but it's in your uh, ADN, you know, uh, in your nature. I am. I always wait the best from from the people that have in front. I from from. The situation you can you can discover discover the new things that you can uh, discover always you, you expect the best. Um, I am a very positive person that to move to the new stadium, of course that can be negative, but it's not in my mind. Only I think that can be positive and was positive for us. It was a massive boost for the team, for the club, for the fans. Um, you know. You, you must to, to be positive and take risks if you want to win. Uh, if not, it's difficult to, to get something special on, on life, not only in football. In the broadcast, Kerry. Can I say, um, the PFA selection of the year was announced. When, when Tottenham players involved in that, what's your reaction to that? And if you could pick a team of the year, would it all just be Tottenham players? Yeah, but that is decided the, the same players. You know, the player decide the, the pay. P A F A P F A P F A. 
that is the player decision. It's not my decision. It's not my boat. It's not the manager. It's not the fans. That in between them, they choose no the the best player. What I can say, what I can do, or I cannot say absol absolutely nothing because the player bought and the player bought the best the best uh, player on Premier League. You must to accept what they say. Of course, that you always you would love to to have your player there, you know. But uh, what I can say, nothing. Only to accept the the result of the the vote. Sorry, he he voted for Harry Kane. Ah yes, yeah. okay. Uh, you know that is the 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 decision of the player uh, from them. Uh, you know, you never know why. Um, I don't have the possibility to talk with him and why was his decision was to to give the vote to to Harry Kane. Uh, you know. Uh, it's many things that happen that we don't know um, in between their relationship um, and of course, but of course Harry Kane, uh, we know very well that he's one of the best uh, striker or the best player in England and uh, now he's, he's injured but I hope that he's with us as soon as possible. Yes, I think the, we need to assess day by day. If, uh, Musa is the same that another injured players. Um, hope as soon as possible um, before the end of the season can be available again. This is for the next better than the after next, you know. Um, now is not too much time, uh, but hope uh, his evolution and his, his rehab is, is, is doing well and hope uh, as soon as possible can be again integrated with the, with the team. Harry, Harry Kane, Harry Kane, no, no, Harry Wynn, you ask me, both, yes, um, no, are, are okay, you know, they are so motivated to try to recover as soon as possible, with all that we are playing today, in the in the period that we are, it's always it's tough for the player to be out, for Lamela, for Sergio Rier, uh, you know, um, Harry, Harry Wins, and I miss someone? Musa and Musa, yes, um, yes. It's so, it's so difficult because it's so exciting moment for the club, for the team, and you need to see yourself outside of the squad, outside of the not involved on the games. Um, you know, it's so, it's so tough, it's so sad for for them, but all together we try to keep pushing them, helping them. Uh, I think uh, being focused because I think. They can be, they can arrive. If we are some lucky and we perform in the way that we want, maybe <clears throat> all these players that we are talking today, they have the possibility to play uh, before the end of the season, that we finish the season. And that is a massive motivation. They, they must to think that they can help the team on the, before uh, to finish the season. Should be and will be massive if we are capable to 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 keep the the record in the the first uh, four games. It's going to be amazing and we are going to be so happy to finish with the same record. You no know, playing uh, the next. Uh, I think we have three games. Yes, the next three games. Yes, I sign now eh, to to keep the same record. And of course, it's going to be so helpful, helpful for us, and it's going to be fantastic. But we know very well that it's going to be tough. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a massive, massive game, tough game. We must to be sure that we are going to compete in our best. Um, yeah, but of course, uh, like you say, will be a fantastic uh, news for us in the next three games at home uh, to keep the same record that we we had before. No, my priority is tomorrow. I promise you. And uh, 
I promise that my focus is and uh, my interest is in tomorrow. We are not thinking in, in Tuesday. Of course, uh, we can talk about Tuesday, but my focus is, is, uh, is about tomorrow, is about to get the three point. Uh, we need to, to be sure that we are focused and not thinking in, in different things that to get the three point. It's going to be tough. We, we know very well that it's going to be tough and how important it is uh, to get the three point for, for be on the top four. That is going to be a massive uh, achievement. And always, uh, if you win, always is is better to arrive, uh, to go to play in a, in a semi final of champion in the Champions League with good feelings. That I think is the most important. Maybe a little bit tired, but in a good mood, with good energy, always is is better than to arrive fresh in a bad mood or or in not in a good uh, dynamic. And that is why uh, tomorrow. If someone is listening to me now, players or fans, is thinking in tomorrow, no in another day. And tomorrow is going to be, uh, the, uh, must to be the most important uh, thing. Don't worry, because we need to take the best decision. We need to put fresh legs, fresh mind, and the players that maybe are not in their best, maybe tomorrow, are going to be on the, on the bench or is going to be outside of the, of the list. But for sure that we are going to try to take the, the best decision to be sure that we are going to compete in our best tomorrow. Okay, finish with Ali and then Emma. Oh, you want this one? Okay, go Ali, Emma, and Paul. Got to raise your hand, Paul. Otherwise, I don't need one question. No, Ali. Uh, Richard, can you tell us a bit about Eric Lamella? He started the season so well, but it feels like another season where there's no more about injuries from him on the pitch. I mean, how sustainable has that been for you and him? I think we feel the same. Him, his family, us, I think the club, everyone, we feel very sad uh, about his situation today because, you know, uh, he's uh, very disappointed, we are disappointed. Uh, on the end, it's a situation that only we can be strong, thinking and try to find solutions and help him and give his, him in the same way, he's, he's thinking in and to try to find solution and be open to you know to, to, to improve and and try to to be fit to try to help the team it's true that in that moment when we have uh, the most important period on, on the season and when you need uh, all squad fit to help to achieve the thing that we want it's true that it's hard to to have him a player that can be important or can help the team to achieve that things uh, out of the of the squad, you know. Um, but hope that can be available uh, before the, the end of the season. Yeah, just another very quick question about Simon Foy. You played him on the right against Manchester City. Is that something we might see more of? Is it? Yes, I think yes. Yes, he was. I think he was very good. He played so well. Yes. Um, Yes, because I think the signal that is giving us in the in the training session, you can see and you can feel that you can trust in that position, you know. Okay, Emma. Hello. Hello. You talked about the importance of the top four finish. How confident are you at the moment in your finishing top four, particularly with the teams that are chasing you seem to be pretty much? No, I believe in, in in ourselves. I believe and I have faith and. I believe that um, it's in our hands now to be on the top four. But in the same time, con never confident. I don't like the, the, the word co confidence. I think trust, being tough uh, with ourselves and believe in ourselves, that is com completely different than to be, to be confident. When you are confident, you make yourself uh, weak, you know. I think it's, it's so important to, to understand that <clears throat> for our player and for our player to have the possibility after to, to compete in our, in, in our best Tuesday, tomorrow we must to be 200 percent, no 100, 200 percent focusing in give our best again again West Ham. And some people is going to to, to fell asleep sleeping here. Eh? <laughs> so tired. Some problems that night. <laughs> <laughs> Happiness, happiness night, no? Difficult morning, no? <laughs> Paul. 
No, I think was a, I was watching the, all the game, and of course in the last two games they competed really well. It was very difficult for Chelsea to to, <clears throat> to win the game, and of course for they deserve much more. Again, they were much better than Manchester United, and of course they have very good very good player. And then it's, it's going. We are going to meet a manager that we admire a lot. I admire a lot. I think one, he's one of the greatest managers on the world. Manuel Pellegrini and and of course uh, we know very well that it's going to be so tough to to beat them. But we are going to play for big things. Uh, to achieve the top four is going to be fantastic for us on the end of the season, and <clears throat> that is is why uh, I expect a very tough game. No, I think the key is to play with your heart, is to play giving your your best, um, you know, it's so passionate the game, the derby are so passionate, we know very well what it means for, for the fans and hope and I wish uh, to have a very good performance that provide us or to to put us in a very good position to get the three points because for us it's massive to get the, the three points tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.